And we have late word tonight, the passing of a legend. Ben Bradley has died at the age of 93, the formidable editor of the Washington Post for a very long time at the helm of the paper as they reported on one of the most tumultuous eras in American history, Watergate. Tonight here, we remember a giant of journalism. He was a newspaper legend reporting on history and making it. But even this seasoned journalist was surprised at what a president could do. In my naive way, when I first came to this town, I didn't think presidents lied. A veteran of World War II, a buddy of JFK, in 1968, Ben Bradley became the executive editor of the Washington Post. For more than 20 years, he was its fearless leader, fighting the government determined to publish the Pentagon Papers in 1971. We are free to publish what we always were going to publish, which was uh, material which in our mind the public had a right to know and which did no damage to the United States. That same determination a year later with the story that would reshape history. Washington Post reported the today. Washington Post. Bradley stood by those two fearless newspaper reporters, Woodward and Bernstein, as they broke the Watergate scandal. Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, who are the two reporters involved, have done an extraordinary job. In the movie All the President's Men, yeah. Bradley was played by Jason Robards. I can't do the reporting for my reporters, which means I have to trust them. The Post's reporting would help bring down the Nixon administration. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Bradley and his wife, writer Sally Quinn, very much a part of Washington. Quinn by his side as his health declined. I don't think we have ever been as loving with, with each other as we are now. When Bradley received the Medal of Freedom last year, he was called a titan of journalism. I miss the times when a story just plain consumes the readers. I miss the excitement of the stories that quicken your pulse. That's when a newspaper man can get on with the job he was born to do. Not many of us were lucky enough to get that exhilarating opportunity again and again and again.